Hi everyone! So today I want to film a combined wax melt haul. I have a package here from Southbound and I also have a package from Sassy Girl Aroma which she added this fun like Sassy Girl Aroma tape on her boxes which is kind of cool. And then I thought because I'm doing a Sassy Girl Aroma haul, I had a Sassy Girl Aroma haul from the prior pre-order before this one. I just, it wasn't big enough to film a dedicated haul and I didn't really have any other hauls um, come in at the time where I would do like a combined haul. So I just figure I'll tack that little haul at the end of the video. Um, let's just start with Southbound. Um, so I will open this. I got the Southbound package as well as the Sassy Girl Aroma package in the mail today on Saturday. So the Sassy, no, the Southbound package, this is from their May pre-order. So I ordered this on May 20th. I'll just cut this open. Um, I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get two loaves. Honestly, what I'm gonna try to do, let's see how successful I am, but I'm gonna try now when I make my wax melt purchases to do like less in quantity, but more in like bigger sizes. Okay, I don't know if that made sense, but I'd rather get like a loaf of something I love than a ton of little items of like all these different random scents that who knows if I'm gonna actually like it or not, because I kind of know my scent preferences by now. And so I'd rather just get a larger quantity of like a few items than a ton of a lot of little items and a ton of random scents, you know what I mean? So I just got four things in this order. Like I said, I made my purchase on May 20th and it came today on June 25th. They always send a little invoice and then the packaging is always super, super nice with Southbound. So let me open it up. There's also these packing peanuts inside as well. Let me just grab my recycling bin. These are, I think the packing peanuts that you could probably, I think you can like run underwater and they'll decompose. Um, this is my sample, which is Tropical Fizz, Tropical Fruits, Sugared Oranges, Lemons, and Lime Volcano Type blended with Bahama Fizz. So that's the sample I got in these super cute two little like popsicles, which is such a cute little shape for summer. Huh, that smells good. I definitely, it's definitely a fruity blend, which makes sense because it's the volcano type plus whatever Bahama Fizz is, which bah Bahama Fizz might be kind of like a suntan coconut-y coconut blend. I feel like I get a little bit of coconut, maybe. Not sure though what that Bahama Fizz is entirely, but this is a nice fruity scent for the summer. Probably a perfect size to do like each popsicle in my bathroom warmers. So that's always nice. They always give one sample. So I got two loaves and two bakery bags. Um, the loaves are 15 to 16 ounces and they're $19. And the bakery bags are eight to 8.5 ounces for $11. Let's just jump right in on the loaves first because they're so cute. They decorate their loaves. They're one of probably, so Southbound decorates their loaves. Does anyone else? Swanky I know has pretty decorated loaves, but usually they have an embed, some glitter, and usually they're layered. They are so pretty. I love them. I didn't get any of their wax cakes this time around, but their wax cakes are decorated just like their loaves with an embed and usually they're layered. I had to get this one. I absolutely love their blueberry scents. Um, I kind of forget sometimes how much I love Southbound, but I've been warming a lot of my Southbound recently and I just, I'm re-falling in love with Southbound and I love how their pre-orders are so consistent every month. Okay, so blueberry pie crust and marshmallow bread was the first loaf I got. Blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla with a hint of sweet sugar, rich buttery baked pie crust and marshmallow frosted zucchini bread. So that's what it looks like. Again, look at that cute loaf. I love it. And it smells so good. I love their blueberry. Oh, it looks my, like, oh, my little um ghost thing. It was like a little off. Look at him. So this is honestly a perfect little melt on its own, but there's what the loaf looks like. And he was sitting right on there. 
and then I'll tip it over and just see if it's layered. Yep, so usually the layer matches the embed, so the layer matches the little ghost on top here, but yeah, I don't think the different layers, like this is a two scented loaf, blueberry pie, cu blueberry pie crust and marshmallow bread, but I think it's mixed throughout the layers into separate scent. It smells so good though. It almost, the marshmallow bread comes off the tiniest bit like body care marshmallow, but it is really, really pretty. I really love it and I love the blueberry scent oil. So I'm super excited about this. I've had many blueberry scents from them before and I love them all. So I knew I would love this one. That's why I went to get the loaf this time around. Then this came just on time. Um, this is red, white, and blue. Blueberry cream, cherry marshmallows, and delicious birthday cake. So I just figure, you know, to be honest, I don't have a whole bunch of cherry scents in my collection. And I love blueberry birthday cake, yes. So I just figure this would be kind of a fun summertime one to do. Huh, okay, it's not like super heavy on the cherry. Like if you don't like cherry, it's not, it doesn't come off very strong, medicinal, anything like that. Look at how pretty that is with the pretty like star glitter in there. That is so pretty. And then I'm gonna dump it out because the embed has a few different colors. Oops, I'm dropping some wax. Let's see. Ooh, this is so pretty. Red, white, and blue. That is a super pretty loaf, triple layered. I've never seen them do a triple layer loaf before. Interesting. Honestly, this one's lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like I definitely get, is this, I don't think this is layered. It's light, I will say. I think the most I get is some blueberry. But I'm definitely gonna let this one sit in cure. It actually, usually cherry scents hit you in the face with cherry, but I don't smell a whole lot of cherry right now. I guess what I'm smelling most is the blueberry cream. So we will see. I'm definitely gonna let this sit, so I probably won't cut into this for the next week, like actual 4th of July, I'll probably let this sit for a while um, just to see if some of those notes come out a little bit stronger. But I have high hopes, so I'm gonna let this sit and then I'll revisit that later. And then just two bakery bags. So one of them is apple fritter birthday cheesecake. I love Southbound's like fall kind of scents. And this one kind of spoke to me being like, a beginning fall transition kind of a scent. Apples, butter, cinnamon, and dough blended into a birthday cheesecake. So I thought with that apple and then with the bakery notes, probably a good like September kind of a scent. Ooh, that smells really good. I feel like honestly, I'm getting more of the butter, cinnamon, and dough blended into a birthday cheesecake over the apple, which again, it surprises me. Just like this one, I thought cherry was gonna be pretty strong. This one, I assumed the apple was gonna be strong because a lot of times apple takes over a blend, but I get way more of like the bakery notes in here than I do get like an apple note. So there's one of their like macarons. They have like the pie. I'll just show a few fun shapes and then I have one um, kind of tan ice cream scoop. So lots of fun shapes in their bakery bags. That's good though. I definitely get like some cinnamon bready notes. I'm like I said, I'm surprised. I feel like apple typically takes over a blend, but it definitely does not take over in this one. So again, I'll let this sit and see if that apple comes out, but I'm not disappointed. I feel like the bakery notes are pretty strong. And then the last one I got is red velvet cookie jar, um, freshly baked red velvet cake, super sugar cookies, frosted sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, and vanilla shortbread cookies. So the cookie jar is all those different cookie scent notes. And I don't know if I've actually had a red velvet um, wax melt before. I'm curious, is it gonna smell kind of chocolatey? Because I know red velvet cake is like usually like a chocolate cake with a lot of red food coloring, I think. Huh. Again, 
my guess is that I'm getting the cookie jar scent notes more. It's not super strong on cold, but again, I, I've had her cookie jar blends before and I really like them. These are notes with all this super sugar cookie, vanilla cookie dough kind of scents. They come out a lot stronger when you actually go to warm them. So I have high hopes for this one when I actually do go to warm this one. Here's a huge donut that you can definitely cut into like four pieces. You got some little donuts, which are perfect to pop into a warmer. Let's see, I love this little toast shape, super fun. So yeah, I'm really curious. I hope it does better on warm, but it's a little light, like I said. Um, but yeah, usually cookie jar scents are really nice. So that was my pretty small southbound haul. Now let's just go into my Sassy Girl Aroma order. Like I said, look at how cool that tape is. That's definitely new. I haven't seen her have that tape on other boxes before. And then she does have a little note here that says heat sensitive. Please keep away from heat sun. Um, so I'll just cut this one open. So this order was from the... Do, do, do. let me find it I think this was from her late May pre-order May 20th through the 29th um and then this other one that I'm going to show you was the pre-order before which was from early May May 6th through the 15th but I'll go into that one after so here's all the packing peanuts in this one all right so I think I got a little a little of everything. She's introduced a few other smaller shapes. I haven't gotten any of those yet, but I do see I have a few loaves in here. Um, wait, what what pre-order was this from? Oh, I actually got think I got three loaves in here, one brittle and one mini muffin. So here is my sample brownies and crushed peppermint. This actually seems more like a Christmassy winter scent. Yeah, definitely smells like a chocolate peppermint scent. Huh, that's good. That'll be kind of fun to warm. I feel more in the winter time is when I would warm this, but definitely a fun little sample. Um, let's do my one mini muffin. For a time there, I wasn't crazy about getting mini muffins. They don't store super easily, but... I don't know, I've just kind of dipped back into getting them a few times because I do have a few mini muffins from the other pre-order as well. I've had this one before. This is a repeat purchase. Um, this is Matthias, which is strawberry bread and vanilla bean Noel. So I just wanted to get this as kind of like a little backup. So I, I've had this before. I know I like the scent. Yeah, it smells so good. I love this strawberry bread scent. It's a really, really nice scent. That's what her mini muffin looks like. Her mini muffins are $7.25. And then here's what it looks like. It smells really good. Oops, I just like broke off a little hunk of the side of it. I'll just put that right back there. It smells super good. It's the strawberry I like. A nice creamy strawberry with that vanilla bean Noel. Really pretty. It almost, the strawberry bread almost kind of reminds me of like a strawberry zucchini bread plus those vanilla vanilla scent notes in there too. It's really, really pretty. All right, let's just do my one brittle I have, which was here kind of squished to the side here, which packaging was very, very good because it's not um, broken. This is Coraline. So the brittles are $10.95 and Coraline is blueberry zucchini, vanilla bean Noel and pumpkin waffles which I'm guessing is her pumpkin pecan waffles. Ooh, that's really pretty. Look how pretty and beautiful this brittle is. She has such beautiful colors that she chooses. That's pretty kind of light, but I think it's a good combination of all of the scent notes. I get a little bit of blueberry. I get a little bit of the pumpkin waffles. And then the zucchini, sorry, the vanilla bean Noel, I just feel like is a good blender kind of a scent. It adds just a little extra creaminess to a blend. So really nice. I'm excited to let this cure and maybe I'll save this one more closer to the fall time, but this is really pretty. I don't like the blueberry 
what is it? Blueberry pumpkin patch oil or anything. Um, but I don't mind when it's a blueberry oil plus pumpkin pecan waffles. I like that. Just not the like, I think it's a Bath and Body Works type, the blueberry pumpkin patch. And it just, I don't like that oil, but this one is really nice. Um, oh, oops. Here's the little business card. And then let's go into my three loaves. I'm pretty sure I've had all three of these before. So now it's kind of like I've been ordering from Sassy Girl Aroma for quite some time as well that now I know the scents I like and the ones that I've had before in Brittles or whatever, I know which ones I like. So it's not such a gamble on getting a loaf. So this one is my first love, which is, it's just gone full circle, I guess, because I think I got my first love in my very first Sassy Girl Aroma order. So I finished it up. I really liked it. Strawberry pound cake and birthday cake. You cannot go wrong if you're a strawberry bakery love lover. Um, so yeah, really glad. I loved the first loaf. So oh, it's just so pretty. Such a creamy strawberry pound cake with just that extra birthday cake, extra bakery notes in the background. It is really pretty. I love it. I like I said, this is one of my first loaves I ever got from her, and I just loved it. I love it on its own. I love mixing it. So this one I also have. I have a brittle of it that I'm actually in the process of using, but I thought this would be great to have for the fall time. Um, <clears throat> this is Rise of Fall, Apple, Sweet Cider, Caramel, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Sugar Cookie, and Marshmallow. Such a good like fall scent with that apple cider, pumpkin pecan waffle. Her loaves are $23.95. Oh, it's so pretty. I used to think I didn't like cider notes, but I do. Oh, it is so good. Love those fall colors. You definitely, definitely, definitely get that sweet cider. That's honestly what I'm smelling the strongest. Sweet cider, maybe a little sugary sweetness from the caramel. The pumpkin pecan waffles doesn't stand out in this blend, which again, sometimes is surprising because I feel like pumpkin pecan waffles can tend to take over a blend. But it is so pretty, really, really nice sweet cider scent. That'll be amazing for the fall time, which I figure now is a perfect time to get because I do like to cure my wax for a little bit, you know, a little bit of time. So perfect timing to start getting fall wax and have it cure by the time that season rolls around. I feel like honestly in the planner community too, we're always like a season early. Like you start buying fall stickers now and same with wax. Like I'm buying fall wax now, even though we just hit the beginning of summer, like this past week. Um, and then my last um, loaf from this pre-order, like I said, the late May pre-order was Five Little Pumpkins. And again, I'm pretty sure I've had this um, I'm pretty sure I've had this scent before. There, clearly there's a theme in this order with the pumpkin pecan waffles. Pumpkin pecan waffle, vanilla bean noel, and sugar cookies. You cannot go wrong. I'm sure this will be great on its own, great as a blender. And I love these colors. Oh, it's so pretty. So that that's what the pretty colors look like. And these are hefty loaves. I think they're just about a pound. I think they're supposed to be like 16 to 17 ounces. So, oh, so, so good. And I'm definitely gonna let it sit and cure. I feel like the vanilla Bean Noel sugar cookie, it's definitely there. But oh, you get the pumpkin pecan and, and waffles. I just really, really love it. So that was everything from that pre-order. And then I just thought, might as well show this one since I never did a haul video on it. Like I said, this is from the early um, May pre-order. So I got one sample, which is Lemons in Paradise. Sorry, I know it looks kind of shadowy. It is about 615. Um, and yeah, it's super pretty, a really nice, clean, bright lemon. It's a really nice, actually pretty tart lemon. I don't know what like the in paradise is, but it definitely smells like a strong lemon. This would be a good kitchen scent or bathroom scent. 
Um, I got two mini muffins. Again, both of these in scents I already have. So I won't go into too much depth in them, but I really like them both. Smurfs in the Kitchen, a very popular blend of hers. And just in general, her in the kitchen blends are very popular. So blueberries is what makes it the Smurfs. And then in the kitchen is cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla fudge butter. I don't always love vanilla fudge butter, or I think some vendors call it vanilla butter fudge. But I don't seem to mind it in Sassy Girl Aroma. I feel like she, in general, tends to blend it pretty well. Yeah, it's just a decadent blueberry bakery. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it is really nice. I'm a fan of blueberry. I'm a fan of bakery. So really like this one. And I love her little souffle tins or her mini muffin tins. I like them. I've never seen these tins from any other vendor. And then Earl and Me. So I feel like this one's got a theme with like blueberry, at least the mini muffins I got. Blueberry cornbread muffin vanilla bean marshmallow. Like I said, I've had this one before. I just really love blueberry bakery. Oh, it smells so good. This one's a little bit more compared to the Smurfs in the kitchen. This is a little bit more because it's mixed with that cornbread muffin, a little less sweet, but it's still really nice. Oops, wax just fell. It's still really nice and it's not super, super heavy on the cornbread muffin where it's almost borderline like savory. It's still a sweet bakery, so I like that, just less sweet than the Smurfs in the kitchen. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. I like that one a lot too. Um, I got one loaf, so I'll just talk over this one, and then three brittles from this pre-order. So the loaf I got is all get by with bread. I've had this in a brittle. Like I said, a lot of these are repeat scents at this point because I figured out which ones I really like. This is so good. Super strong on the cupcakes at Tiffany's, at least my brittle was. So it's cornbread, birthday cake, zucchini bread, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. And my brittle was so strong on the cupcakes at Tiffany's. So good, so long lasting. Oh my gosh, I love it. I feel like I get the cornbread and zucchini bread, but I do get the cupcakes at Tiffany's. Like I'm getting the cupcakes at Tiffany's stronger than when I first got it in, which was like early June, I think. Her pre-orders take just about a month to create and process and ship to you and whatever since the time you order. Um, so pretty quick turnaround but yeah even since I got it in and it's been sitting a few weeks now the cupcakes at Tiffany's is really coming out and I love cupcakes at Tiffany's it's such a good nice bakery blend and I always think it's pretty strong so I'm super excited to have it if you can kind of tell I get a lot of loaves that yes they're great on their own but they could also be a great blender loaf just because with a quantity of loaf since it's so much wax I like having the ability to like want to mix and match and blend it with other scents if I want to. So a lot of them are kind of just decadent bakery blends that I can blend with other things. All right, so I got a green machine, which I'm really excited about because I've heard a lot about it, especially from Andrea from Scribble Prince Co. She loves pistachio and I just had to get it. And my other friend who I talk with um, about wax. She also loves pistachio scent. She got this as well. So I'm like so excited. I'm, I've smelled these ones already, but it's so good. I really like it. She actually had another pre-order with Green Machine in it. She's had a good amount of pre-orders where there are pistachio blends and I've, I've definitely gotten them just to try them out. I feel like she has a really good pistachio scent oil. It's so good. It's not cherry at all. I know a lot of vendors, pistachio ends up coming out very cherry heavy, but it's just a nice creamy pistachio. I definitely recommend it if you're interested in trying it, but don't like when they lean cherry. So I can't remember if I said pistachio, sugar cookie, zucchini, marshmallow. It's so good. I definitely say it's pistachio strong, but I'm sure those other bakery notes will come out on warm. I'm really excited to try it. I think I'll give it some more cure time. Um, but I have melted Sassy Girl Aroma pretty soon after I've gotten them in and they tend to do well performance wise. Like I said, some of the Sassy Girl Aroma I get, it's really strong initially, but it kind of fizzles out somewhat quickly, but I'm fine with that. I like changing my wax. 
Um, this one's Baby Bop, Strawberry Zucchini Bread and Vanilla Bean Noel. I will say this isn't really a love. Um, based off of the scent notes, I thought I was going to love it. But there's a greenness in here that is n I don't really like. It almost smells like a vegetable greenness, like a vegetable vine, like a tomato vine in a garden, which I guess it could be a strawberry vine like growing in the garden. But there's something that just smells like a vegetable green. Like, I don't know. It's really like kind of off-putting to my nose. I don't really like this one. But I'm hopeful and curious that I'm, I'm interested to see how it transforms on warm. I think it's the strawberry oil that just must be a very green leaning strawberry. I get a little bit of that zucchini and vanilla bean noel, but that strawberry, eh, it's really throwing me off. It's, it's, it's not a favorite, but I will see how it does on warm because sometimes you can't always judge scents on cold. So we will see. Um, linen and Sunshine, Crisp, li Crisp Linen Accord, White Orchid, and Apple Blossom. I just thought it sounded like a really pretty, clean, pretty scent. And yeah, it is beautiful. I really, really like it. It's just a nice, clean laundry scent with a little bit of floral, like the apple blossom is definitely like a floral. It's not like an apple scent. It is really, really pretty. I like it. I, I really like this one a lot. I think this would be pretty for company over as well. So that's super pretty. And then the last one I have here, another laundry blend, Take a Bite Out of Grime. Pink Chiffon Island Fresh Gain Blueberry Vanilla Bean Noel. Mmm, this one is really pretty too. I feel like I'm getting the Island Fresh Gain and the Blueberry. That's what I get the most. Island Fresh Gain and Blueberry. It's really pretty. Look at those colors. So beautiful. That's really pretty too. If I had to pick between these two, even though they're not, they're not really similar, but out of the laundry blends, I think I lean towards liking this one a little bit more, but I feel like company wise, I feel like this is a more friendly scent for like, I don't know. I feel like my mom would like it. My mother-in-law probably would like it. So yeah, these are both really pretty though. Let me know if you guys picked anything up from this Sassy Girl Aroma or Southbound pre-orders. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.